Oh my god! I don't know why I said that. You there. What do you make of more biscuits? Much point in sending the empty <clears throat> back to the shaman. Well, can I go in now? Give me a clue. What kind of things does your shaman like? Does Dog biscuits, apparently. Favorite sport? You insult us. The shaman lives on a higher plane. Well, not really. He's eating dog oh, biscuits, mate. Right. Maybe a book would be more suitable. Or a, a book on proper food. Don't you just hate choosing a cookbook, in fact. Don't know? That. Look, I know it's not much, but I want your shaman to have this. Do you expect him to eat that? He's an old man, you know. He might choke. Oh, I thought I was onto something. <coughs> but it's lippy. The answer is obviously going to be the stone. I don't know why I'm going through this shit. Uh, right, okay. Of course I don't. This stone is what brought me. That's a spirit stone. I wouldn't touch it if I was. Well, it's been in my pocket for most of the game. Are you kidding? Right, so I've got that. This cone. Could have a thousand uses. Yeah? Like what? A protective helmet? I don't think so. Alright, so I'm fucked. I'm literally fucked. I can't give you the empty bickies. Oh! 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 I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. My lucky coal. He said he liked the black ones. I'm going to put it in the bicky box. Fucking hell, Jay. It worked! I put my lucky piece of coal in the empty box. You! Check this out. I'm gonna break your fucking shaman's teeth and I'm gonna fucking pillage his village. In my pocket. I'll give them to him. Fucking right you will. You fat cunt. <laughs> what? He's going off screen eating them and coming back saying, oh yeah, you like them, can I have some more? I mean, can he have some more? <laughs> Look at him! Look, he's doing it! He's got he's no pants on anymore! He's nude! Oh, there they are. The shaman didn't want the black rock. Oh, well, it didn't work. You suck, Jay! Well, to be fair, mate, I was... Fuck it. Oh, I know what to do. I know, I know. I, no, I, I know I said it before, but if I put the scary stone into the box... See, that music's a lot more exciting than it was before. There we go, let's try that. I said, let's try that. Here, I found some more of those biscuits for the shaman. One gigantic biscuit in this particular In the packet. hem of my shorts. I'll give them to him. He will love it. Like he loves young dick. Wow. He's come back without a box. But maybe he likes young dick. The shaman wants to talk to you. I hoped he would. Well, it's been nice to talk to you guys. But peace out. See you on the other side of this doorway, if you can call it that. <laughs> Which I won't, so I won't. Because it isn't. No, that's woman. Don't talk to woman. Useless. Where's the shaman at? No, I'll just keep going. So show me there he is. Naked Hi. people. In oh God. God. Please sit down. Welcome, George. Thanks. Long How did you know my name? Cutscene? Oh, not quite. Listen, my bitch is fucked. My girlfriend's been bitten by a snake. God, I wish you saw her. I was fucking panning. Yeah, it's really annoying. I, I'm, I'm assuming that when you're playing it like single player, then it's like proper immersive. But my girlfriend's in a. When you've got to have only one ear of your headphones on to communicate with your buddy when you're doing a let's play, not so good. Hey, yo, this root, give me. Father Hubert told me of a root which could cure the bite of the river snake. Tell her, there's nothing.
nothing sacred with these people. That was our secret, known only to members of my tribe. If that route is my chance, of fuck off, you flying bastard! Fast. There is time yet, George Stobart. Time to learn why you were called here. Great, but I'm more interested in the fucking route. If I listen to your story, then will you give me the route? The eel travels far, but still returns to the place of his spawning. And look, I'm running a tight schedule, so can you skip the riddles? Fuck's sake. Oh, oh ah! Skip the riddles and give me a fiddle. Many years ago, Story time. Was young. Got a sick dragon, yo! Quetzalcoatl was defeated by trickery and deceit. And stabbing. Mainly the stabbing. His enemy Tezcatlipoca took his place as leader and demanded terrible human sacrifices. Uh oh. We could throw in some footage from Apocalyptico right now. <laughs> Trap. There we go. The powers were so great, they knew he would not See, I told you there were fucking three of these cocking stones. His time of incarceration would end with the eclipse, which marked the close of the fifth age. But how did they trap Tez, the evil god? They built a pyramid which they told Tezcatlipoca was dedicated to him. At its center, they fashioned a huge mirror of perfectly smooth obsidian. Luring him into the pyramid with praise and flattery, they used sorcery to ensnare him in the mirror. Um. Okay. This big skull. Suppose I was to believe there was anything in your story, other than the rambling delusions of a seriously wacky old man. Suppose I was to swallow it, hook, line, and kitchen sink. What then? Then you would see that the fate of the human race rests upon your shoulders. Oh shit. Well, that's not a good thing. Oh, it's a heavy burden to what bear, Jay. Anything to help me combat Tez Catlapoca? Like what? Well, a magical weapon? Get real, George. All right, eclipse then. There's an eclipse of the sun due very soon, isn't there? Correct. The eclipse which marks the ending of the fifth age will come before the next full moon. Less than two weeks. I didn't really believe that Tez Catlipoca would return, but I figured Karzak's plans were in some way connected. He's going to do Why a is sacrifice, isn't it? So reluctant to visit the village. I don't know. He used to come here a lot, but then he just stopped. You think he want to spend some time with his kids? Oh! Oh! Oh, he's into kids, is he? No, he has kids here. Maybe is it, maybe he's Catholic and he's not allowed to do a children. Wait, hang on, that came out wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, or did it? Hmm. You say Father Hubert has kids? Three girls and five boys. Fucking hell, mate! Keep it in your pants. Same week at the feast of the monkey dance. I bet he was a fucking dancing monkey. He was spanking it enough. Yeah. Directly into your females. Oh, God. They were taken by the Spanish to the coastal town that is now called Guadamante City. We've been there. One stone We've done that one. Spain. The other two fell into the hands of buccaneers. Uh-oh. The Jaguar stone was captured by an English captain, El Draco. The eagle stone... Was fucking El Draco? That's got to be, um, Drake the Snake. The Coyote stone... Reached Spain safely. What was his name? What is the stone in your possession? Drake. Anyway, Uncharted. Again. The second time in his many games. Nathan Drake. <clears throat> Uncharted 3 ruined that whole thing. They fucked that storyline up. While the soldiers looted and plundered the city. Uh oh. Once the treasures they stole. I the imagine that stone. the remainder of that is yours. Oh, bloody Nora. I've been. Well, I've done two glasses of that. 
and I topped you at once, Where's so the rest of that shows. I suppose El Draco took it back to his homeland, across the great sea, to England. Ah, now, Tell me more about the in the first game, I said I had a recollection of Nico in the subway. In the subway in the London Underground, rather. I'm pretty sure that's going to show up in this game. There? Yeah. Ooh. Mm. Reference. There'll be a museum as well, I think. More fucking museums. There might be stabbing involved. I might just be making it up at this point. But the Underground for Sheezy. Meanwhile, this stone. Oh, that's lipstick. This would be any use to you. It sure would. This wax on a stick will change our lives. Um, we um. want to decorate our bodies for the monkey dance. <laughs> right, as dodgy as you like, then. Sounds good. Where's the eagle stone now? Nobody knows for sure. Ketch retired from piracy and bought an island in the Caribbean. Maybe we're gonna go there too. What do I do when Wait. I find the stones? You know what, I, I have a feeling we actually do. What are you doing with that liar? Tricks. Just twatting it about on the sofa. Yeah, but more about the route. Excellent. Now you're talking in riddles again. Listen, is it okay if I crash here? I've got no chance of finding my way through the jungle in the dark. Yeah, I guess he's right. It's a good job that I uh, nicked that bottle of sleep. lighter fluid off you. It a, few is a, month, a fair few months ago, because I was using my old Amsterdam Zippo, and the flint went. Oh. And then I obtained this. And now you have fluid. Yeah, and this works, it work. and this works so fine. much better. This is a much better quality lighter than the fucking cheap Amsterdam one. I left the village at dawn and stumbled back through the jungle in a post-party days. It was just like sneaking back to my parents' house when I was younger. Hey, except Oakland didn't have monkeys or parrots. <laughs> well, dodgy hey, Jay, do you remember mothers. that guy we saw before on the bike with two parrots? Yes! We fucking well saw a dude with parrots on his shoulders. Yeah, he, doing he, a side no, he had one parrot on his back and one parrot on the handlebars of his bike, push bike, just chilling. It's the a fact. It's the a parrots fact. were we completely fine with it. Parrots weren't giving a shit. The they were loving it. Container. You see this? How like we're talking about parrots, but I'm just cracking on with the puzzle. I told you I'd solve this puzzle before we'd even got to it. The thing about the puzzle is, I'd be terrified that the parrots would fall off my bike if I was on a bike with parrots. Yeah. I'd be like, oh shit, what if like... They fly the fuck off. Surely. They fly the fuck off, or, you know, you, you jump over a curb and it kind of falls off and gets a bit, oh, shaking and flies. Squawk. Yeah. Off it box. Like, no. No, that's regular occurrence around these well, parts. Parrots are supposed to be quite intelligent, so I don't know why they keep, you know, living on ships and robbing other ships. I've no idea. Hello, it's your boy. I thought I I I wreck it. Jay. <laughs> Look at you. Uh, her name is Nico. She's my bitch. That looks like a sick house. He's got the floors pretty nicely smoothed out. I mean, he's done a good job. Nico. The roof is confusing, yet must be see, very secure with all this going on. You see that tree on. in the middle of the room? Drink this. Yeah. If that was my pad, what I'd do maybe is hollow out a section of the tree. I was going to say. Use it as some kind of storage area. Definitely. Not necessarily with a, a cupboard door on the front, just kind of leave it hollow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of rustic. Put, put, put some liquor in there. Yeah, yeah. I mean. have a couple of bottles. Tree. The liquor tree. Yeah, the liquor tree. Mm, that'd be lovely. What that you got with me now, nice, nice place. The patient is sounding more like her old self already. See, we've heard him play the organ. But where's the bellows? 
Where indeed? It's confusing, isn't it? Maybe, Meanwhile, maybe they're in the maybe, the maybe they're not above. Maybe they're below. Oh, you silly the roof. man! With your crazy jokes. To save time, we decided to split. This is a. Uh, sh this is Sean Paul's new song. Sean Paul, is he still existing? Sean Paul, is he still in ex uh, still insisting on breathing air? Yeah. Oh, dude, that's have you insane. fucking seen him? Now he's got a mohawk. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw. Well, that was mind you. That was um, never mind the bus cocks. At least a year ago, surely. Was it? Oh, I only clocked on yesterday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, here is dude. You should do some clicking. Right, okay, he's about to walk up to a War of the Worlds type enemy. Well, he's allowed to do that if he, if he wishes. I'm pretty sure Hello. That there's like a movie set sort of style thing going on here. Sure we was. need to find him the ideal location. Field of Light. And we Let's do find him the, the ideal location and it helps us get to some treasure. But I might be thinking of like Monkey Island, to be honest. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's this. As long as you're not thinking of Monkey Ball. Oh, no, no. No monkey balls today. Oh, no, no, we need this. We need this. We we put... See, the, the sparkling thing. Mm. Could you click when you were doing that, then? Uh, I'll try. I'll try again. Maybe it'll spot it. Sparkling thing to the right on the first pole. Oh, no, no the, I can't, the I can't, mate. I can't. Mate, I can't. Can no, no, no go, mate. No go. Right, you better talk to him then. Maybe you have not. to talk to the kid on the jetty. I remember that. On the jetty? On the jetty. <whistles> Hello, Mr. Brown Pants. Grey Pants. Oi! Wandering off pants. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, Fucking oi! Dickhead! Come here! Hi. Let me taste your balls. Yeah, that's right. Ah, that's Mr. right. Stoborn. You're a surveyor, right? Mr. Bronson. And of course I'm a surveyor. Why the hell else would I have a theodolite? Well, I don't know. Abby, maybe? Yeah, right. What brings you here, anyway? I'm searching you for an ancient mine yeah. artifact. What is it? Some kind of... Sucking at no, fucking obsidian. Pacific no, Island pussy. <laughs> mystic powers. You're nuts. Like that. Tell me more about your theodolite. What are you doing with the theodolite? <laughs> Some the old house. I got great plans for this place. Oh yeah? You bet. Take a look around. What do you see? A beach. Paradise. Mm -hmm. I see opportunity. This place is ripe for development. Yeah, you want to like consign. Yeah. And that's where we differ. Oh, nice see, place. Let's put a development on it. Nah, fuck off. Whoa. I see a great future for Kitch's Landing and... He's got, listen to that dodgy music coming in when he's all like hotels and thing. Sinister! Like, like, said, I assume. How do you survey a house like that? Survey. I put a target reflector on the end of one of the flagpoles up there on the house. That would be the reflector bit. I sight on it from various locations through the theodolite, record the angles along the baseline, and triangulate them to give me the exact position of the target. Understand why the end of the flagpole? Wouldn't it have been better on a corner of a wall or something? Are you a surveyor? Uh, no, my degree's in law. Then shut up. Oh, stone? Most rude. What's what? This is similar to the stone I'm looking for. What makes you think you'll find it? This isn't the stone we're looking stone for. <laughs> in the 17th century. Hold it. The stones have been lost for 300 years. Yes, they have you fucking twat. Keep up. And you're hoping to find them again? You're nuts. <laughs> you're crazy, Why Bob. Here? A wise old Indian shaman told me he saw the stones in a vision. Ha ha. That's rich. Listen, I got work to do, okay? Hey, shaman well, you. It's only okay if you that. say it's okay. Look at this. An article about a total eclipse of the sun. Total eclipse of oh, oh, the yeah. sun. I don't want to be rude, uh, but it just comes natural. I really don't care. Well, you're a massive cuntbag and I want you to die, you horrible twat. Well, you've heard it from Jay. 
uh, that's what he wants. Jay's so doing a click. You, you're better off just doing what he wants because otherwise you might um, get dyed. Wait, oh, he might steal your family and put them in a box. Well, I want to go with that jetty because I'm sure there's a kid over there who's doing a fishing. Le jetty. Pretty sure, pretty sure. Because if it's not in this, then fuck knows what other game it's in. Stubbard de Georges is. No, I'm winning. It's fine. Walking along the jetty. He's going to do me a sailing in that ship. What's the name of that kind of ship? I can't remember. Shitty boat. No. It's not a pontoon, it's not a catamaran. Nah, I don't like fish. Nah, man. Rio. It means river. Her name is Rio and she dances on the sand. You'd think she'd dance on the river, wouldn't you? <laughs> Just like the river twisting through the dusty land. But that explains why the weather's about to get real bad. Rio, it's a beautiful day. It's about to get real bad real quick, man. Trust the man, it's going to get real bad. Ask about Captain Hook. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Go on, Captain Hook. Is it true that Captain Ketch lived around here? Captain Hook. That's, right. That's his house up on the hill. It's a museum. Now. Yeah. That's, That's exactly a good hook. What I need. Thanks, kid. You won't get inside, you know. The old leaders close it down. Yeah, but if you give me a fish to attract the cat, then you know. What do you know? I got it. It's a little house. fishy. I'm just talking. I'm pretty sure that what I'm saying is going to be relevant, but it's hard to tell at this point because are you t I've are not you played this game in a long time and I'm drinking the law wine. Are you talking about life in general, Jay, or just just for this game? Sorry? When you're talking about um, saying things and making them relevant. Is that life in general or is that just for this game? Um, it's everything. No, but it's, it's pretty much for this game. But it's also in real life. Oh, real life, I miss you. See? Making it relevant right here for you. Treasure? Do you know anything about pirate treasure? Man, that's all stories. Yo, there's a fuck ton of treasure in this game. Shit. There's treasure like round the back of these islands. And, we should definitely and, and go and pinch team. it all. We should definitely go and half inch it. Yeah, well, he's, you know, he's a degree in law man, so he's not going to rob the treasure. Oh, you can. Even though the treasure's there to be robbed. He can wangle his way out of it if he did. You'd think as much, wouldn't you? Well, I'm pretty sure that I do have to catch a cat out. Yes, I do. See, there's the cat. They're the old bitches that don't cat, want to let me into that building. Lioness. That is pretty fucking big, isn't it? Maybe if I stab it with the fucking needle. Go oh. to sleep, dickhead cat. Genius, go to sleep. the cat, but I didn't have the heart. And besides which, those sisters would kill me. Those sisters would shut the fuck up. I'm gonna rob your ladder. Sister, sister, talk about a two-way twister. You just reminded me about the show Sister, Sister. The ladder extended Fucking easily. sort yourself out that's for reminding I, me of that show. That's because I sang the theme tune. Yes, I know. That's pretty much what the point I was making was. I used to like watching Sister, Sister. It was quite I, I used to watch I it. I can't remember like why. I think it was just because it was on. The ladder across. And there was that little younger, younger boy, and he was like, I want to fuck both of you. I don't care which one I get first. His name like Ray Ray or something like that. Yeah. And they were like, nah, son, you ain't getting near this pute. My pussy too good for you. Oh, yeah, look at that. You see, I put on my panties, pump to the side, and we were like, slapping my pussy, and you'd be like, you ain't getting none of this, player. You ain't getting none of this. And he'd be like, oh snap. We just missed a question because I'm I'm because we were too busy being borderline racist. <laughs> How's that fucking racist? I don't know man, it was accents and thing. I love them. They're so cute with their claws and their You're right, it wasn't eyes. racist. We do accents all the time. Scottish is fine, Irish is fine. Ask him about a, a little black boy. We can do an Afro-American accent and it's I 
Yeah. I've been talking to hey, Rio, yeah. the little fisher boy. He dances on the sand. That little wretch in my presence. Oh, no, Why? she's the racist. Nasty fishy boy. They're both <laughs> racist. <laughs> they are well racist. I gather you don't have much time for the little boy. That child is a delinquent, Mr. Stobart. Yeah, well, he's only, what, 11? You're basing your perception of him on his skin colour. You fuck. I want my own little tarts. That you don't like, Miss Frost? Well, once upon a time, he and Emily... Fucked! This instant, Mina! Can you tell me anything mm, about Mina Captain Savari? Dash? More than you can tell me about your great-great-great-great-grandfather, no doubt. What were the tiny little tits from American Pie? Uh, American Beauty. I've not seen American Beauty. No, I've not seen it, but I know she is. She's got oh, tiny okay. little tits. <laughs> Fair enough. Farmers. But See the one with the rose petals. Mm -hmm. I assume. To go to sea. We have plenty of seamen in our family, Mr. Stobart. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Not of the seamen, no. Nah. Heck no. In my experience, history can be very dangerous for your health. Really? How very foolish on your. Yeah, well, I've got bare more what teeth than you. <laughs> Emily, what business can she be of yours? Well, you brought her up. Killed in a typhoon. We, as her only living relatives, took it upon ourselves to raise the child. That's good to know Charity isn't dead. Oh, but she is. Washed overboard in oh, the Oh, fucking hell. Mr. Stobart wasn't talking about Emily's mother. He was being oh. sarcastic. Fuck for that. I thought this suddenly took a really grim turn with the child what killings. What else tell me about Emily? Dare you pry into our family in this way. You're the fucking idiots that carry on bringing it up. Mm -hmm. Pirate flag and stuff. Is it true Frederick Ketch was a pirate? Frederick Ketch was emphatically not a pirate. They hanged him, you know. How much do you want to bet by the time that I leave this island I've proved that he was a pirate? Yeah. Just whipped him out from his breakfast table and whisked I like to whip things out of the breakfast table, though, to be honest. It'll make me a pirate. Or a nobleman. Or any kind of man other than, you know, a man. Well, who's like, wasn't a pirate, see this? This is what I got. Could be a highwayman. Could be a highwayman. Yes, I've been a smashing hat. And had accumulated great wealth. As rich as a mink in a paddock. A what? Yes, bro. The small-minded governor and his lackeys wanted his money. Okay. Some ridiculous charge about breaking the conditions of his letter of mark and hanged him like a common thief. The blackguards. Right. Letter of mark. The document that permitted him to engage and destroy. The music the just like kicking license off, to kill. Off. License Before to kill. You know what? We're in like what part five, part six. Sorry, Floss. Part we in. Well, why didn't Ketch just say, take a hike, The part that we're in. License. We're in the part that we're in. It might actually be part seven, thinking but about it. But this far into the game, I still don't know what music I'm going to use for the title card. Because no music fucking lasts long enough. And that doesn't exactly, ugh, doesn't exactly scream hibbity hop, does it? See, I need this fucking pussy's ball. I think. I think. In a bit, Sir Crust. You should take the pussy's ball immediately. I want to take the pussy's ball. It was locked. The house is closed. Yeah, I can see that, you stupid it's fucking bitch. Alright, Krusty's done a bunk again. He's weeing like a powerful weir. For the new century. Right, so this game came out pre 2000 then. Presumably? I don't know. There was a stony silence. As I have already told you, sir, not a pirate. It's precisely. I miss old adventure games, yo. Proper point and click games like this. So good. How? Mr. Bronson has kindly agreed to undertake the museum's refurbishment at a very reasonable price. He understands the importance of a sense of history. He understands the importance of turning things into hotels and shit. He also understands spherical geometry. Mina. 
Well, he does. Spherical geometry. Are you, do you mean he knows how to touch you up because you are rotund? an exception in your case. Everyone will want to get in. Pardon me, but I didn't exactly have to fight my way through the crowds. You're the second visitor we've had today. Oh, fuck. No, I'm sorry, but it's impossible. Who else was here? Was it the clown? But it was the clown with the scar on his face. Right. Hints, hints, hints. Done that. Okay. Right, sorted. I'll just spat the music out by doing that. Am I? I totally have. Just carry on clicking at things and the music changes its ambiance. Learning how to break the game by J Crazy. You, little fisher boy. Give me the knowledge. Anytime, mate, anytime. There we go. Tell me about your friend Emily. Why are you so interested in Emily Ketch? Emily Ketch? A descendant of Captain Ketch the pirate? Yeah. Well, it doesn't bother you? Why should it? We don't responsible for our ancestors. No, we don't responsible for anything. How come the old ladies closed the museum? It's Branson's doing. He might have plans for redeveloping the museum. I can hear me. I can hear Krusty making funny noises. I don't know if he's sneezing or being sick. I think Branson is trying to cheat those sweet, vulnerable old ladies. That's a little unfair, isn't it? Okay. He's trying to cheat those seriously demented, poisonous old ladies. <laughs> You have to admire his acumen. Great. Can hear doors going. I think Krusty's on his way back. Hell and there yeah. he is. Oh yeah. Were you doing a teeth brushing or something? No. I heard random noises that <coughs> confused me. Was it a cough, perhaps? It was a very deep and heavy cough. Oh, it was a cough, boys and girls. That's all it was. It was, it was a cough. Nothing as, to worry about. As the um, as the Bloodhound Gang stated, it was a cough that came with a prize, which is a big old lung loogie. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. You're really fond of that cat, aren't you? And then a bloomy nose. Yeah. And then I thought, oh no, tissue paper in the beard. So then I went into the bathroom to check for beard. Ah. Um, tissue paper remnants and thankfully there were none okay. it was so I carried on as usual tactics. marvellous I thought I saw a little girl down on the beach you must be mistaken he must be mistaken mustn't he Frost oh, I'm sure <sighs> a little girl and that young fisher boy oh we're cheating we're cheating these fuckers uh, what were they doing oh, the kind fucking of things that all little boys and girls get up to at their age when I was a little girl Hot we used to play cows and milkmaids well, you with your I imagine you the cow. Yeah, you had a lot of milking done unto you. Oh, good. We've sent them off on their way. Well, that's that's peculiar, inappropriate, and appropriate. Hello, Krusty on the mouse. Hey. <coughs> Jay taking a personal the phone call. Why? Corsetry, the sisters sailed majestically over the distant horizon. Really? <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Pan don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. Has Jay talked to the cat yet? I don't know. <clears throat> oh. Hi, puss. Wanna play? <coughs> oh, dear. Shit. <coughs> hey, cat. Watch where you're putting those claws. Try 
try and get in the crib. The door is locked. It was locked. Oh, what a shock. I couldn't find any way to get in the window. The window was locked. Oh, for fuck's sake. Up the ladder. In your own time, George. I didn't have a flag on me, so the flagpole would have to stay bare. I couldn't reach the flagpole, and a bush stopped me from moving the ladder across. God's sake. Just my luck. I'd struck out again. The windows were all locked. Damn these secure people. And their... faces. Hmm. Hmm. Aha! I couldn't think of any reason to climb the tree. Oh. Well, I'm probably going to wait for Jay to get back. He knows what's going on.